Thank you, Madam Chairman, and I completely agree with John O'Reilly uh, on his last point there. Um, so, over the past several months, as a member of the Vice and Vice Chairman of the Communities, Environment and Highway Select Committee, I and other members have provided feedback on a great deal of the environmental policies and aspirations that could help us achieve a net zero council by 2030. Uh, members, those of us who have served this council for more than one term will know how quickly 2030 will come around. We have so much work to do in order to achieve this, and to my mind, I think this will be one of the most challenging things this council will ever face. I think this is because to get there, we, we are all going to need to change not only the way we physically do things, but also our whole mindsets and attitudes will need to adjust. This old dog does not learn tricks easily, so uh, I'm under no illusion as to the personal challenge ahead of me, but it is a challenge that I want to take on with enthusiasm. I do think that by leading by example and making small changes now can make a big difference to our greener future. The work that the Communities, Environment and Highway Select Committee has done recently has inspired me to make some small changes to my life, and I intend to document these on my social media channels going forwards so that residents can follow my greener future journey and perhaps help them avoid some of the friction points I encounter along the way. I have already got the ball rolling, and last week I ordered my first e-bike. It is my intention, thank you, it is my intention that my car will be going back to the lease company and my family will go down to one car. My e-bike will become my prim primary mode of transport from January 2022, so that's my commitment. Uh, council staff and councillors, do not have to wait until green future policies are created or forced upon us. We can lead by example now by ensuring whenever possible we meet online. Where not possible, we use public transport or car share, as Councillor Jennings, Evans and I did this morning, and as I know others did. Moreover, if we all go about our days within the spirit of this motion, then encouraging our residents to do the same by 2050 should be much easier. Finally, I want to say that I've been a councillor for over 10 years and attended many scrutiny and select com committee meetings in that time. I've never known a committee such as the Communities, Environment and Highway Select Committee where cross-party members are in such broad agreement with one another, at least when it comes to environmental matters. I have been inspired by cross-party collaboration of this committee, and I hope that continues so that the county can be a healthy, clean and green environment for all its residents. I wholeheartedly support this motion and I hope that all members of this council will do too. Thank you. In terms of cross-party support, I have to say that the members' group reference group has been a good example of cross-party support. We've got members for all the political parties, apart from sadly the Labour group, because there doesn't happen to be a member of the Labour group on our select committee, but that doesn't mean we can't co-opt a member of the Labour group to the, to the members' reference group in future if they wish to be part of it. So that's something that we can consider. Um, so uh, the, the members' reference group has worked extremely well on a cross-party basis. And in fact, uh, Paul Deitch, who's the other vice chairman of the select committee, he actually said, and he's not a difficult man, an easy man to please, it's the best group he's worked on since he's been a councillor. So that, that's high praise coming from someone from Paul, like Paul. So, I'll leave it at that, and just to say that we've also had some very good presentations from senior officers, from Katie Stewart, from Carolyn McKenzie, and it's very clear that the officers are very committed to this project, as well as, as, well as the members. Thank you, Madam Chair. That's all I want to say at the moment.